Hi beauties! I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I am so excited to get into July's BoxyCharm box. Um, but before we do that, if you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of unboxings, makeup tutorials, and I would love it if you would become part of our channel over here. So go ahead and hit subscribe. And if you like unboxings, give this video a thumbs up. But let's go ahead and get on into the box. So this is Delize uh, Boxy Charm. So this is the most basic box. They have three different versions. I will leave a link down below where you can look up the information. But you're supposed to get five full-size products every month. And uh, they range from like beauty, skincare uh, products, kind of a wide variety. So. Let's go ahead and get on into this box. This one's theme is sunshine. Super cute. Looks like a very summery type um, theme, which I love for summer. Um, this is my birthday month, so July is obviously my favorite month of the year. <laughs> but let's go ahead and see what's in here. Okay, so the first product is by Hourglass. This is their... Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil. Okay. And this is in the shade Soft Brunette. I love Hourglass. I think they have really good products. I've never tried uh, their brow pencil, but the packaging I love. It's very sleek. It's like a brown type color. Okay, so on one end you get a little spoolie. So that's always nice to just kind of like, you know, straighten out your eyebrows. And then on the other side is the pencil. So it is angled. Okay, so this is the shade here. So, I don't know. This might be a little bit too light for me. Yikes. Mmm. I don't really think this is gonna work, but we'll try it out today. Um, also, I forgot to mention that any products that we get in here, I'm gonna try it on my face if I can, as long as it's not like a really intense like skincare product, I'll try it out for you guys. So that's kind of like mm, an okay product. So next in here is by One One Skin, and this is their Pollution Defense Booster. So let's go ahead and take this out and see what it looks like. Okay, nice packaging, love. I'm gonna read the description because I think it's really interesting. It says, developed by renowned Harley Street plastic surgeon, Dr. Giannis Alexandris, uh, Alexandridis? Ooh. Inspired by space science, One One Skin combines innovative ingredients with more than 20 years of surgical experience for clinically rivaled results. Okay. So this product contains the novel NAC Y2 formula, which is a unique fusion of actives, which helps to alleviate invisible signs of aging and damage. Absolutely, yes. I definitely need that. Um, so this is also, also supposed to help against pollutants and screen emitted artificial visible light. So it's an essential booster. It helps safeguard your skin. So that is perfect. So you're supposed to shake well and then mix a couple of drops into the palm of your hand and then you can apply it with your favorite moisturizer. Let's go ahead and test this out because I do already have my moisturizer on because I have to put it on like right when I wake up because my skin is so dry. So okay, let's go ahead and try this out. And it has a little dropper which is perfect because um, there's nothing worse than not being able to get the product out. Okay, it's clear. There's no scent to this. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this feels nice. So it'll be interesting to see like if I notice a difference. So a lot of times with skincare, people want instant results and that's not how these things work. <laughs> A lot of times with skincare, you have to use it for like weeks, sometimes months to see any kind of results. So, I, yeah, it feels great. Um, I'm not gonna notice the difference on my skin yet, but I will keep you guys updated on how, how this product works out for me. Next product in here is a gloss, a lip gloss it looks like. So this is by Alamar Cosmetics, and this is in the shade birthday suit. Perfect. They must know it's my birthday. Okay, let's 
This is the wand. Let's go ahead and swatch this. Okay. It's a very sheer type gloss, just like a pinky nude color. This will be a perfect lip gloss to put on top of your lipstick. I feel like for summer, it's such a nice way to get that kind of glowy, glossy look that you want. Um, so I've been using glosses a lot and this will be a perfect one because it's a really big size. So looking forward to this one. Next product in here is a bronzer palette. So this is by Ace Beauty and this is their Bronze in Paradise palette. Um, so very nice sized bronzing palette. Um, I love the mirror. It's very holographic. Fun. Um, I don't use bronzer. I honestly am not a huge fan of bronzing my face. It's just not something that I am doing currently with my makeup routine. So what I'm going to do is just save this palette and I will probably include it in a giveaway soon. Um, so keep an eye out. The last product in here is by uh, Pop Sugar and this is their Make Waves Liquid Metallic Eye Color. And this is in the shade Push Yourself. Oh. Um. Okay, this is like so watery. Can you see that? I don't understand. Okay, so it says, yeah, open up right to avoid a spill. I've never seen a product this liquidy before for eyeshadow, so I'm kind of confused here. Um, what's nice is on the card though, it'll show you um, how to use the product. So we'll take a look at the card here in a second, but just first impressions, I just don't know about this. Mm, let's go ahead and swatch it. This is the applicator, the wand. Okay, so it's not as liquidy as it, it seems to be in the in the packaging so it is like a nice kind of like bronzy color appears to dry down to like a powder finish so we'll test this out today and see kind of how it works on your eyelid because i tell people too you know yeah it's great to test on to swatch on your you know arm or hand or whatever but this skin is completely different than this skin so you always just want to keep that in mind when you're swatching in the store. Sometimes the pigmentation is going to be completely different on your face and on your eyelid, especially your eyelid too, because your eyelid is very different skin than your hand. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so let's go through the products on the card. I know a while back, BoxyCharm was not including cards due to COVID. Now they've returned to doing cards, which I appreciate because I like to know the pricing. I don't want to have to go look it up. I want to know just on this card how to use the products right away um, if it's a new product to me. So I appreciate that they brought these back and they've started including the products on here. So let's go through each one. So this product right here, $135. Wow. I don't know, I'm sure it's because of the NACY2 um, ingredient in here as to why it's so expensive, but I'm stoked that I got this in my BoxyCharm because that's a really great value and I would have never purchased this on my own um, for $135. So that's what's nice about BoxyCharm, you will get some unique products, some products that maybe you wouldn't be able to afford otherwise or try out. So. I do appreciate that, but dang, that's expensive. Okay, so next is by Hourglass. It's that micro brow pencil. So this is valued at $28, which I think is reasonable for a nice brand for an eye pencil. It's a little bit more than I would ever spend on an eyebrow pencil, but hopefully this shade works out for me. Otherwise, I'm gonna be disappointed. Next is by Ace Beauty, and this is Again, their bronzer palette, and this is valued at $30. Next is by Alamar Cosmetics, that birthday suit lip gloss, and that is valued at $15. And it says too that Alamar Cosmetics is celebrating their two year anniversary. So that's really cute that that's why they named it birthday suit. Last is again, Beauty by Pop Sugar. So this is their metallic eyeshadow, and this is valued at $23. So I just counted up everything and my box this month is $231, which is fantastic. Oh my goodness. Like I think that 
that is a great value but again the like the majority was like this one <laughs> and I am obviously I'm not gonna use this bronzer palette so that kind of sucks um, I know a lot of people were disappointed to get this one I saw BoxyCharm say that for this month everyone would receive some sort of palette so there is a blush palette an eyeshadow palette and this bronzer one so again it kind of sucks because my beauty profile, I don't have bronzer as something that I ever want. So that's kind of disappointing because it's like, okay, I did not want this, so why did I get it? It is kind of disappointing that this is kind of supposed to be like a fun, a funner item and I love makeup and we just have three products to try out, so. Leave a comment down below what you think of this month's box. Let me know what you got. If you got the blush or eyeshadow palette, let me know how that works for you. I'm obviously not gonna swatch the bronzer one um, because I am give it a, giving it away. Um, but yeah, just let me know what, you th what your thoughts are overall in this box. I um, am gonna have to say that not a huge fan of it. I think in comparison to like my first couple boxes I think were really strong. It really matched what I like to wear. However, I I do have to say like these two products definitely fit my beauty profile 100% and this like I I recently changed my boxy charm to not include skincare since I am doing face tori. So I recommend watching that video because that box is amazing. So now that I'm getting skincare a lot more from Face Tori, I kind of want this just to be makeup. So we'll see how that kind of affects next month, August, my box there. But let's go ahead and get into this makeup look. So since I did not receive any kind of like foundation or, or concealer or anything like that, I'm gonna go ahead and put all that on. I'll come back and I will do the rest. So see ya in a minute. All right, guys, I am back and I thought I would <laughs> would show you um, my cat Dinah. <laughs> she is currently sleeping in her little windowsill. She loves that spot and she always is by me when I'm filming. This is the first time I've shown her on camera but she is always near to me. But yeah, I thought I would show show her since she was kind of in my shot a little bit. <laughs> All right guys, so I have everything on. So let's go ahead and try out our first product. So I'm gonna go ahead and do brows. So again, I'm not sure if this shade will even work for me. So if it, if it goes crazy, I'm just gonna go in with my regular one that I use. Um, and we'll just kind of go from there. It's a little bit more ashy brown than what my hair color is now and what my eyebrows are. Uh, I knew it, it was gonna be way too light. This is not gonna work out for me because if you can see the difference, like I have to fill in my eyebrows a little bit more and this, this color is just way too light to do that. Like you can see this, the gaps there where I tried to fill it in with and this is just not gonna work for me, unfortunately. So hopefully I can find one of my friends that will actually be able to use this. I'll have to see, um, but kind of disappointing in that, but that's okay. I actually, I haven't actually tried this one out before. So this is by Winky Lux, and this is their unibrow, it's a universal brown pencil. So I've never tried this one out. And I got this from my Fat Fit Fun Summer box. Go check that video out if you haven't already. Um, but I'm gonna try this one out because I actually just swatched it and never actually used it. So let me just go on this side and then maybe it'll be a hot mess. I'll have like weird eyebrows today, but that's okay. We're just gonna go for it. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm actually pleasantly surprised by this. Oh my gosh, like this actually is a pretty good color match for me. It's a little bit off, of course. Um, anything universal is always gonna be a little bit off, I feel like, but this actually is very, very close to my um, normal eyebrow pencil that I use. And just so you know, the one that I always use normally is by NYX and this is their micro brow pencil and I use the shade Ash Brown. So let's do, just do a comparison. So 
you can kind of see that they are pretty similar in shade, like almost like exact. So this one is a little bit darker, um, which is completely fine. But yeah, I, I'm actually like, I'm actually surprised by this. I'm actually kind of excited about this. I know that we didn't get it in our boxy charm, but I, it had just kind of been sitting on my vanity and I hadn't used it before so I thought this would be a good opportunity and I'm gonna go ahead and fix this eyebrow with this pencil and then um, we'll move on to eyeshadow let's go ahead and move into eyeshadow so of course I'm going to use this one but I also thought I have not used this little palette in so long so I thought it'd be fun to incorporate this into our look today so this is by Tarte this is their tardiest pro to pro to go and you can tell I've used it quite a few times. It's a little bit dirty, but I thought that these colors would go perfect together. So for traveling, um, I think that this would be like an awesome little like pack just to throw in your bag. Um, but let's go ahead and apply our transition shade, which I think I'm gonna use this uh, light brown one. It's in the shade Crisp. So this is gonna going to be a simple look today because with metallic eyeshadows, a lot of times anything like that, you cannot blend it with any kind of color. So I'm gonna see if I can, uh, obviously to test it out, but it'll be interesting to see how this blends with a powder product. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. Let's see, I'm gonna put it all over my lid. I'm gonna say no on this product. I do not like this. I don't think it's pigmented enough. I don't like the way it feels. It almost feels like heavy. Uh, and I hate, I talked about this product that I got from them before. This eyeshadow primer, it feels heavy on my lids to me. I don't like anything heavy on your eyelids. Like uh, the skin is so sensitive and thin as it is and you don't want anything weighing your your eyelids down oh hi and you can see too like this lo these lines that it's leaving <sighs> pop sugar no this is not i do not like this product honestly disappointed about that <laughs> But let's see if we can salvage this makeup look by going into some shades here. So I think I wanna go into the shade Boss and then pop on Hype uh, in the corner. So let's see how that works. I feel like it's mostly dry now that hopefully it won't be too crazy and I'm just gonna use my finger. Oh yeah, look at that, okay. This shade is a metallic shade, right? And it's a powder, and look at the difference between a liquid and a powder between these two brands. Just saying, just throwing that out there. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna take Hype and put that in the inner corner. Wow, that is so pigmented, oh my gosh. I was not expecting it to be that that bright. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out and then I'm gonna take a neutral cream shade and we'll just pop that on top. I'm gonna go ahead and go into my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and I'm gonna use the shade White Peach and I'm going to just put that in my brow, underneath my brow bone. Okay, and the last thing, and also <laughs> there's my other cat Gatsby, grooming Dinah. <laughs> Okay, back to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my favorite my favorite shade right now, Face Zero. It's their nude newbie shade. And I'm going to just put this into my inner corner just to brighten up my eyes. 
Okay, I feel like I salvaged my eyeshadow. <laughs> Thank goodness. I feel like, you know, this is a nice kind of neutral, natural look. Um, so with that said, I'm not gonna put on eyeliner because I kind of want to keep it a little bit lighter. Um, but I am gonna go ahead and put on some mascara. So this is by Wander Beauty. This is their Mile High Club uh, mascara and the shade is in black. And I got this from a FabFitFun box. I think it was my summer one. I can't remember, maybe fall. No, spring. I think I got this for my spring, my spring box. But this one is a really nice uh, mascara to use during the daytime just because it gives you the length, but it's not super, I don't think it, it adds a ton of volume to my eyelashes. It adds a little bit, um, but this is a nice mascara that I will use during the daytime when I kind of just want to have like a fresh type look or something really simple. This is the mascara that I will use. Okay, mascara is on. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into my highlights and I like to use the Glam Glow. Um, I can't remember what this palette is called, but it's their highlighting palette. And I'm gonna go into this middle shade because it's a nice gold shade. So the blush that I use actually has some gold flecks in it. It's really pretty, it's by NARS and this is um, in the shade Orgasm, so nice gold flex, so you can clearly see that. So it's almost like you don't need highlighter. So it's a nice uh, neutral palette because these highlighters actually aren't super shiny and bright, like super glowy. This is a very natural highlighter, so I love using this for the daytime. I'm gonna go ahead and use this middle shade and we're just gonna pop a little bit of that on here, just to add a little bit of the light. Not too much. Again, this is why this is a perfect one to use because it's very natural. So yeah, just added a little bit more glow. All right guys, we are down to our last two products. So lips. So I'm gonna use by Bare Minerals. This is um, their matte lipstick and this is in the shade Swag. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on. So it's a nice, just pinky, natural type shade. So I love using this one. It's very comfortable on the lips and it smells really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on our gloss. Let's see how this works. Oh, it's a nice smell. It's like a nice cupcake smell. <laughs> All right, so I actually like this lip gloss. It's not super sticky. You can definitely tell that you have lip gloss, lip gloss on, but it's nothing too bad. So overall, my final thoughts on this month's BoxyCharm, I think it was trash, honestly. I'm only gonna be able to use these two products. So that's kind of disappointing. Overall, I am really disappointed in this box. I think this is uh, my least favorite out of all of them that I have received. But overall, with my look that I made myself, <laughs> with uh, different products, I think it turned out great. I think this is a very nice summery, bronzy, natural type look. I think you could wear this for daytime or nighttime. I think if I wore it for nighttime, I would switch up my lip and then I would apply some eyeliner and use a thicker uh, mascara. But overall, I think this turned out really great. I am a fan of this look, but um, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to take a chance and subscribe to BoxyCharm, again, I have really enjoyed all of the boxes up to this point. Um, I've heard from many people that they've been unhappy with BoxyCharm's products and their service lately, so I can't say I'm surprised, um, but if you want to subscribe to BoxyCharm, I will have a link down below for you to subscribe. Um, but otherwise, um, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye!